Hey, welcome to Living Raw with Rosie. Today's video is going to be um, how you can make a delicious fruit platter that's going to last you for the whole week so your family and you could enjoy uh, in small amounts daily. So what you're going to need is uh, any type of fruit actually that you like. In this case, I'm just doing juicy fruits. So I'm going to be using uh, three grapefruits one pineapple and four oranges so you could use more or less of these amounts as you like you're also going to need a oops sorry you're going to need a glass bowl to put the fruit in you're going to need a cutting board and a good knife so we're going to start with the pineapple and I'm going to show you guys the correct way to cut a pineapple. We are going to start with the pineapple. You're going to turn it to the side and you're going to cut the top part and just eliminate that part. And then you're going to cut the bottom part. Just like that. You're going to turn it up upright and you're going to cut it in two pieces, I mean four pieces into fours, just like so, like this. So I cut it into fours, as you can see, but I'm not just going to stop at fours, I'm going to cut it into quarters. So just across like an X. So you did like the cross cut. So now you're going to do the X cut. And once you cut that part like that, now you have about six, eight pieces. So it's cut into quarters and you have about eight pieces. So what you're going to do next is grab one piece, as you see, like a little pie cut. And you're going to cut the outer part of the pineapple. As you see, it cuts that. And if you have any little pieces, they're very easy to cut off. Like that. And then you're going to cut the middle. The hard part of the pineapple. And eliminate that piece. Now you're going to be able to dice these in little pieces. So I go ahead and cut that pie in about, I would say, four more pie pieces, quarters, four more quarters from that pie piece, and then I start cutting into little pieces. So I kind of dice it into bite sizes, like so, and see how easy that is? So you have a bunch of little books. Uh, bite sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'll be right back to show you guys how I do the rest of the fruit. I'm all done with the pineapple and as you can see I put it all on one side of my glass pan right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting the grapefruit. So I have a big grapefruit then I have two small ones here. So I'm going to start with the big one and I'm going to show you guys how I cut that. And this is a quick way to cut your fruit on the weekends and um, use it throughout the week because you want to make sure that um, your family has quick and easy access as well as you to fruit instead of uh, going towards unhealthy stuff. So I cut the one end of it and I'm going to go ahead and cut the other end and toss that and I usually do it by the sink so I could just toss everything in there and then clean it at the end. So as you can see right there now I'm going to start cutting uh, the sides off. So I'm going to go all around the grapefruit like this. All around it. Just like this. And if you have any white parts, you want to be able to see the grapefruit. If you have any of that white uh, flesh, try to cut it off because it is, although it's great for juicing, it's not great when you're eating it with your fruit because it has almost like a little bitter taste. So really quick like this and you just take the rest of that white flesh off because it's not going to be easy to cut it all off the first time. You're probably going to have to go back and cut some of it off. 
Okay, so once you do that and you cut most of it, you're gonna end up with the grapefruit looking like this. And you're gonna cut on the sides, trying to leave the middle intact, okay? And then you're gonna cut just like this. Now you're gonna cut the other side, like so. And then you're gonna cut the ends that are left. And you wanna end up with the middle part like this. As you can see right there, and toss that. Now sometimes, I like this one, there's a little seed in there, and you just could flip that one out. Okay, so now you're gonna slice it into little long pie pieces, like so. Let me show you, like this, okay? And then we're gonna start dicing across, right? So I hope you guys can see this. And you end up with little bite size like this. And then you can put these in your tray. So I put them right in the center after cutting the pineapple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my grape. All right, so the grapefruit is all done and I have that in the center of my glass pan. So now I'm gonna do all the oranges and I'm gonna use the same technique that I did with the grapefruit. So basically you're gonna cut the top of the orange off you should be able to see the orange and then you're gonna cut the bottom part like so. Then we're gonna start cutting the sides just like that and go all the way around like this. You wanna make sure, like I said, that you get as much of the white flesh as possible. So sometimes these are very thick the peels are very thick in the oranges now if you're doing this with mandarins or cuties you could actually just peel those you don't have to uh, cut them because those don't have a lot of the white flesh inside so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing as a grapefruit you're gonna cut it right there leaving that center piece there and then you're gonna cut that side off as well now the reason I do this it's because the center has a lot of fiber and it's kind of hard. Then I'm gonna cut the sides and leaving the center intact. Which sometimes the center has um, the seeds in there as well, so you could just get rid of that. And then you're gonna slice this piece that's left in long, um, long little pie cuts. I don't know how to say that. I would say long slices. <laughs> and they should look like this. And then we're gonna turn it sideways when you're completely done cutting the slices. And then we're gonna start cutting all the little bite size like so. And I'll be right back when I'm done with all the oranges to show you guys the finished product. And here we are, this is the finished product. You have a beautiful, delicious fruit bowl that's gonna last you a whole week, even up to seven days in the refrigerator that your family and you could eat from. And you saw how easy it is to dice this fruit up and just have it ready um, for all kinds of uses, not just one use. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use this fruit bowl, actually how my husband and I use it. So I have this in the refrigerator and it's covered. And in the morning, what I do, one of my uses, one of my favorite uses for this fruit, um, delicious uh, fruit platter is, instead of drinking warm lemon water to detox every morning, I get tired of it, so I use my fruit. So I grab a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the grapefruit, and some of the pineapple and I put it in a cup like this, like a coffee mug, like this. And then I pour warm or hot water over it, like this. And it's gonna release all that citrus juice into the warm water. And I drink this in the morning while I get ready for work. So this is a great way to use it, one of the ways to use it. And 
my husband actually uses this fruit platter for his oatmeal every morning when he makes his oatmeal and uh, he doesn't want like bananas apples or berries he wants juicy fruit in it he'll just kind of to switch it he'll use this so he'll put this on top of his oatmeal and eat it which is extremely healthy because the oatmeal kind of tends to get like a gooey sticky uh, consistency and when you put juicy fruit in the oatmeal it actually hydrates it a lot so you have a lot of uh, the liquid breaking down that uh, oatmeal when it goes into your digestive system so very healthy another way is I sometimes just put it in little jars like this I fill it up with fruit and I seal it put it in the refrigerator and I take it to work as a snack so this is one of my uh, healthy snacks that I snack on at work or when I go out in the bottom in the street, I take a little cooler, leave it in the car with my diced up veggies or whatever I want to snack on in case I get hungry so I don't go for unhealthy. I actually happen to be lucky that my job provides um, a big bowl of fruit uh, for all the employees. So. We get to eat um, fruit all day long as an employee for my job. I had worked for a wonderful company who does provide healthy fruit for the employees. So I don't have to take this to work because I have a lot of fruit that I can eat at work. Um, so I don't do that. Another way that I love using this is I make my almond yogurt. If you go back to my uh, videos you can find that video actually I'm gonna post it in uh, in the link below so you guys could go to it uh, I show you guys how to make a uh, healthy delicious almond yogurt with uh, probiotics and coconut water so I usually make those yogurts and I put them in this size of the little uh, mason jar because I like the big opening and what I do I have like four of these yogurts, uh, glass yogurts in the refrigerator. And what I do in the morning, I just get one out. I put my fresh fruit on top. I seal it and I take this to work as a snack as well. So you can use this fruit platter in many different ways. Your family could use it uh, just as a snack in at night, in the evening, uh, morning. I also put this on my uh, green smoothie bowls that I make in the morning. So I make, uh, I blend up bananas with some dark greens, coconut water, and it's basically a green smoothie. I put it in the bowl and then I put the uh, juicy fruit on top. Now, a uh, general rule is not to combine juicy fruit with dense fruits like apples and bananas and berries with this juicy fruit but i find that the more i eat mostly raw and the cleaner i eat i could do more of the combining of fruits without having digestive issues so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for great ideas on how to maintain a healthy, raw uh, lifestyle. I'll see you guys later. Bye.